We see this every summer and it's just a few days away. A giant wall of dust swallowing the city. Valley fever is a fungal infection. The spores come out of the ground and into the air. When you breathe it in, it starts an infection. I grew up here, been here my entire life, 45 years. My, my doctors weren't really surprised when I came down with it. Until the monsoon comes, it is valley fever prime time. One out of three get an illness that lasts for often weeks to many months. Um, doctors have a little trouble making a diagnosis. It affected one of my very own newsroom colleagues when she was a college student. It's very painful. It's a cough that it makes, it's that kind of cough that makes everybody around you cringe just because it sounds horrible. It sounds painful. There's no vaccine or cure. It's why several U.S. lawmakers hope the Valley Fever Bill passes. The University of Arizona actually and the company that it licensed a drug to called Nicomycin Z is potentially a cure of this disease. And it's been sitting for a number of years now waiting for investment. The problem, it does not affect many people outside the Southwest. If we got some of the incentives that would be in the Forward Act, that this would help either incentivize uh, investment in that. Some of the federal agencies could help with the drug development. Relieving many from a lifetime of pain. It doesn't really ever go away. Chris, I want to show you how many cases of valley fever we've seen in our state so far this year. This craft comes from the state health department. So far, we've had more than 4,800 cases this year. So pretty scary stuff right there. Absolutely. It'd be wonderful if they could get a vaccine out of this. Brittany, thank you.